Today we're going to assemble this shelving unit from Waylon that I picked up at Costco. Okay, I've got all the pieces organized here. Uh, you see there part A labeled. Uh, those are the posts. There are eight of those. They're the pieces with the holes in them, okay? Uh, part B, uh, there's 10 of those. Those are your long beams, long beams. Part C, there's 10 of those. Those are your short beams. Uh, part D, uh, those are your shelves, okay? And there are five of those. Part E are your post inserts. For, there are four of those. Part F, 16 of those. Those are your post caps. And part G, that is your tipping restraint hardware kit. There is one of those. There are two assembly options for the shelving unit. Option one will give you a tall shelving unit, about six feet tall, two feet deep, and four feet across. Option two will give you a shorter, wider shelving unit that is about three feet tall, two feet deep, and eight feet across. Notice that you'll have three shelves on one side of that and two shelves on the other. First thing I'm going to do is take these post caps and put it at the bottom of four of the posts. So the bottom of the post is this end. The round part of the hole goes up towards the ceiling and the thinner part of the hole uh, goes towards the floor. So go ahead and put four of these post caps on the bottom of four posts. We'll start by putting a short beam on. Uh, this would be the uh, correct direction for the short beam. This part should be towards the top. That's where your shelf is going to rest. If it were like this, that would be upside down. So don't put it that way. These two parts on the back, put those into the holes and then slide it down. Now we attach another post to that short beam. Now a long beam. Attach one more post. One more short beam. One more post. So that's our fourth post, and now we'll put one more long beam to connect them. Okay, so we have our first four posts in place uh, and the beams attached. We're going to sink those beams in uh, a little better so they're nice and firm. We're gonna use a mallet with a towel. Okay, so now we're going to put on the next beams. Uh, if you want to have it centered, then you want to count up 10 holes from the bottom, okay? So there's your first hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Put the bottom of your next beam there. That'll be the middle.
If you're going to do option two and do a shorter, uh, two shorter shelves, uh, then you would just use the post cap uh, like we did on the bottom uh, and now just put it on top to, to finish it off. Okay, so you're going to notice uh, some angles and lighting are, are different in this part of the video, and that's because in my first time doing the video and installing this, I actually made a mistake, uh, but the good news is uh, we can all learn from my mistake and make sure that the third shelf goes in the right way. So here's our next step at this point in the assembly. We want to put the post inserts on each four of the posts. All right, this is where you make sure that you put one peg above on the higher post and one on the lower post. Okay, the beams for the third shelf are now all in the right location with one peg on the lower post, one peg attached to the upper post. Uh, so that is the proper way to do it. We will return to the original video footage from here. So if you notice uh, that these are out of place in any part of the video going forward, you know why, uh, but do be sure to uh, do that third shelf the correct way. Now we'll finish with beams in the middle here for that shelf and then more beams for the top shelf. After you've uh, hit with the mallet on top of the beams to, to set them in place, take a look uh, after you put them in. If you still see a little bit of hole there, a little bit of space, uh, then you need to hit it again. So uh, it might take going around twice uh, to make sure they're fully seated in. With all the posts and beams assembled, uh, I recommend taking the mallet, go around with the mallet one more time on every single beam uh, at uh, where it joins the posts and just hit it down some more. Make sure every beam is fully seated in. Once you do that, then we can put the uh, post caps on the top four posts.
we'll put our first shelf on as long as we're up here at the top. Uh, you might put shelves bottom to top, but it uh, yeah, should be fine either way. And that's a wrap. Got the whole shelf there. We can push it against the wall, put it where we want it. If you want to use the wall anchoring kit, uh, make sure you put it in a stud in the wall or that you have some other anchoring hardware if you, if you need it uh, to make sure it's secure to the wall. Put the heaviest things on the bottom of your shelf. That keeps it safer and less likely to tip over. So heavy things at the bottom. Uh, and do not allow children to climb on this. Good luck. Hope you enjoy your new shelf.